Alrighty, here at Watkins Glen, the one without the boot, the LOA LMP2 season finale. Not race as many of these as I maybe would have liked. We had a pretty poor grid for a lot of the season due to clashes in the schedule. Now made the series so they run consecutively rather than concurrently. So the grids are bigger and hopefully the racing will be mega. Soon we'll find out. But well, we've got an entire so pace lap. Miss Mark. Entire pace lap, so uh, yeah, we'll check back in the green flag right now. Alright, well on to three, four, five, six, so yeah, I think I'm P7, so green and should be in our column. I still need it. Alright, let's see if not. Long hold. I think he basically waited for green to be fair, but it looked like he'd gone. I don't know why I put myself in this hole. Didn't die though, so that's good. Incident behind. I'm probably not surprised, that was a lot of P2s trying to get through that corner. We're all just going to be topping out. Oh. Yeah, we're three of his boys. We're three of his boys. So many uh, six hours of the Glen flashbacks there. How did Mark Zeff end up in front of us all in that one? I thought that was the car that was boxed in in front of us in the queue down, down the back straight. It's hard to tell when they all look the same. Save me, draft, save me! You're in here. I was nearly in the wall, I'll tell you that much. Gonna need some push related assistance here. Close up a little bit of uh, a little bit of the gap. That's part of the lead. I have to expect that's probably sure it is. Push you so much in the day, yeah. Wow.
That push is horrendous. Try and give it another click of brake while I see if it helps a bit. I'm kind of hoping some of them might have burnt the tyres a bit on that first lap going absolutely hammer hit, but... I guess we'll only find out later in the race. I thought that had changed the tyre model on these at the same time as the GT3s and made it so if you go too hard in the opening laps it really hurts you later on in the stint, but... I've not driven this properly for so long. Oh, this is a bit slow down. Got lucky. <laughs> Got very lucky. I'm gonna top out here. Oh, Stephen, the alert didn't work. I don't know why. Thank you. <laughs> We're gonna we'll play a a redo of it in tribute in just a little second. Well, after the race, <laughs> gotta do all the races. <laughs> Thank you. And good evening. Got that little bit sideways out of the uh, entrance of the boot there, that's all we needed. Let's see if we can hang with them now. I'm not taking that corner right, but I don't know how to do it differently. I feel like that's just the, the way that's ingrained into my muscle memory. I don't really know how to change it now. Oh, I'm turning for that corner. Not dead. I'd love to see it topping out. The peak setup. Those guys are all using the kerb on the left there on the exit of the boot, but I feel like over the years whenever I've tried that it just merges me, so. I don't know if it's a bit of like lag placement problem or if they really are using it, but it's not for me! <laughs> Thought we were dead then. Just starting to fall back from Merrin. Says our last lap was similar, but we were at 0.7 down the straight last lap, and we were at 0.8 this lap, so. Must be losing a bit. I missed that apex, so I thought I'd have a go too. Just when you see someone in front make a mistake, you mimic that mistake rather than capitalise on it. That is the key to success in racing. Go wherever your opponent goes.
So that for me there. Lost messenger though. It's nice. Also lost the draft. Not nice. The great virus back up then. Get some uh, temp and performance in the fronts. Don't expect much of me then, uh, crew chief, do you? It's probably apt, it's probably accurate, but still. Bolt lights, spotters, crew chiefs, engineers, supposed to pick up the drivers. Yep, you're just as mediocre as we thought you were. Great work. Well, thanks! May mediocrity run supreme. Thought I was dead. <laughs> Big munch of the cookie from Mary. Daytona squad. Two, three, and four. I preferred the old scan of Watkins when it had that piece of concrete with like, you know, the repaired parts. You could basically follow that piece of concrete for the line. That used to be good. Now you have to actually kind of know what you're doing and stuff. It's just not good. Just clinging on to the sniff. Here's some cookies, we've got them so we might as well. Try to give it an extra click of rearward brake bias just to see if we can get a bit better performance out the fronts as we close in the rest of the race. Idea being take some temp away from the fronts, hopefully they'll get a bit of grip back. Just gotta watch out for the rear getting loose now obviously. Like that. <laughs> Overslowed into that corner. Pretty much status quo between sort of top five. I thought it was going to say five laps to go. No idea how, how long is left to go. Still eight minutes. 
we're teetering right on the edge of the draft now. It looks like Merrin might have lost it. So we start to close him in. Next couple of laps. The entire car giving up the front and the back of toast. I think we're probably all starting to feel it a bit now as our Merrick getting well siders around the heel. <laughs> A little bit of nothing then, because it's just going to smoke us down the straight. Not quite going to get there, is he? It was up point three last lap and it didn't make it. Let's see what happens this lap. So I can make that corner without being sideways, that's good to know. I thought I had to be, like, drift. Drifting all the way around it now. Don't need first, I don't know why I keep pulling it. <laughs> Probably gonna do with first then. Really bogged down. It's just hopefully white flag lap. Got a cookie in the bank. Let's munch. Still no idea where the slowdown lives out there. Ever since they rescanned the track. Not Scooby Doo. So, racing line. One movement. One movement. Safe.
really hurts once you lose that draft. Give Maxwell some draft instead. <laughs> Yeah, you go sideways, boys. <laughs> Leave me alone. Well, we clung on. <laughs> I don't think it was the cleanest. <laughs> it was fun, whatever it was. Such a fun car to drive. I love this thing. Oh well, P4 will take that. We've probably got no right to be like top six, but There's we'll take it. Over. Race two then, reverse grid over top eight. We finished fourth, so we're starting yeah, fifth. You, do that, but you block everyone very effectively, and then, yeah, let me run off. Come for ahead. Um. Oh no, I hope Ben's not had to miss the grid. Hey yeah, Ben, you were maybe gone for too long. Get ready, going green. All right. <clears throat> Here we go. Leader is on my line again. Post car is off. Green, green, green. Joe is too busy flashing his lights behind to set off at the green flag. Oh, we've been done by someone on the outside there. Ah! Marin smoked me. God damn it. Not this again. <laughs> Okay, I think from last time the line is the inside. Push me, Tor! Push me! Oh god, that is a large escort. Hey, so we're gonna get murdered. We're four! We're still four! We're almost dead there, but now we're not. Track's still volcanic. That's a curb. Oh god. What is this line? All the talking has stopped and we try harding. I don't know how we survive four wide <laughs> in Big Bend or Carousel or whatever they call the corner at this track. But we did! Where am I going? Not the line. Really, really not the line. Oh 
hoping this draft from Aaron will help me a little bit, but I think we might be in trouble. I'll go wherever you will go. Until now. Might be a sun down here. I was from behind rather than the young Mary. <laughs> Dikes. That was a bit close. It's a bit further about this time. Don't know if he smoked through his tyres a little bit, being a bit close to us for a couple of laps. For my race's sake, I hope so. Oh god, Apex. I think that might be one of my least favourite uh, pieces of information from the update to the spot apart. Given the racing is generally a sport of looking forward, why would you need to know about an instant behind? Unless it's the car directly behind you. Which it isn't! Be nice if it was! Oh, Let him have it here if he gets the overrun. Trying to just not lose the lead pack. Which is amusing because I feel like he'd got more chance of not losing the lead pack by passing me than staying behind me. <laughs> Wiggly. Not 21. I've got not much hope of catching that back up to be honest, I think best bet for my race for trying to get to Max Zeff and potentially get that move done would be to let Maxwell close the gap for us. So if I don't just fall back now, I'll have to fight from Mark, defend from Mark for the rest of the race. So I can stay with him.
I don't know when I started sucking so much at that corner, to be honest. And back corner. And back corner. There goes the draft. Good, I like this game. Can't help but feel like I've seen it before, though. That was a genuine top of the wall for Maxwell if it was just lag related. Guess we'll find out in due course. It definitely slowed him down, down the back straight, or like pit straight. I guess this is the back straight. Just helping me cling on to a tiny bit of draft. Tires have had enough. Ciao, Bella. We'd almost broken mark until we got the toe and then stuffed it all up again. Ah. Mark has broken himself. Defend like a lion, Mark. I'd love to say I had any hope in us being able to catch anyone ahead, but I don't think that's going to happen. Looks like the little brake bias adjustment might have uh, given us a bit of our front spot and just dropped it a click rearwards again. Though it would appear that if you drive too fast into a corner, regardless of your brake bias, your car won't stop. Apparently too fast does just move too fast. Who knew? full second off the guys in front of us here. Oh, I'm doing the same pace as a leader. That's reassuring. Oh, your union's gone. And Mark's lost two positions from it as well. Uh-oh. Incident. Come on, car, carry me. Make me look less bad than I am.
<laughs> oh, I can't. Jules put thanks just as I tapped the wall and I thought that was the contact to lower. Uh, I think we touched. I felt like I touched. I think we got away with it. <laughs> that was horrendously scary timing for that message to come up. I think we just got back into like slipstream range as well. <laughs> and then I just keep buzzing the limiter. That's a shame. Face Mark Zeph in this one. Managing to keep the lead. Driving down the pit wall. What is it really about nine minutes? About one and a half laps, uh, one and a half minutes a lap. Six laps ish. Seems like a lot of laps to have left. No point in me driving over because nowhere near them. <laughs> There's some fading going on ahead. It just went 10 man, it just won the 10. Oh, Joe's died. A bit of story there, no doubt. Maybe it's just gone across the F4 practice. Flag here, I'd have thought. I wonder what the fuel to make it much further, to be fair. Jesus Christ, how much the messenger caught me up?
Eight tons worth, that's how much. Jesus. Old grass, that would have been me dead. New grass, good. Side by side for the lead, for the win. Mark held on to it. Did he still hold on to it? He still hold on to it. Let's try for a backwards finish. We went backwards. Don't know if we finished. <laughs> we finished. We got it. Counts. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, what an absolute pair of races that was, and pretty decent result in both of them, all things considered, but I really wanted to take a look at this first lap from the second race, because I'm sure we went four wide <laughs> coming out of this corner, so let's have a look. Going three wide going in, I know these guys in front of the all run wide, don't they, so we're trying to sneak up the inside, and... Oh! <laughs> A little bit of contact with me and Messenger there, but we were definitely <laughs> more across the track. Super tight, super hectic racing going on. A little contact there with, uh, with Merrin, but we'll live to fight another day, which was nice. Oh, big squeeze as well going down there. What a set of races that was. Hope you enjoyed them. You know the drill if you did. Um, give the video a like. Or if you didn't enjoy it, then give it a thumbs down. Drop us a comment either way, let us know why. Um, and consider subscribing if you're new here and you've not done that already. Other than that, take it easy and look after yourselves. I'll catch you in the next one.